Facebook group is an awesome way to actually build your community of supporters. And so with Facebook Live, um, it gives you another opportunity to actually connect and have them know, like, and trust you. However, you have to do it from your phone, or do you? BeLive.tv has introduced this app that allows you to go live in your Facebook group, on your Facebook pages, and it gives you a whole list of features that allows you to share comments, questions, things like that while you're live. I actually really, really like the app, so I want to show you how to use it. One caveat, it is beta, so that means there are bugs, and you will see this in my trainings, that there are going to be some bugs, there might be features that are there that might disappear, maybe some things work or they don't, so do not blame the creators. Beta means we're just testing it, so be happy with the free app for now, okay? Let's go. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ask questions below. Okay, so here we are at BeLive.com. Now, my um, button in the right-hand corner says sign in. Yours will say sign up. You'll get a pop-up, and then what it's going to actually ask you is a couple of um, identifying information, and then they actually have to invite you to the app because it is beta. Keep in mind that beta means that there might be some bugs, things, features that they're trying out that may not last, things like that. Beta is usually a test area that they have people test and provide feedback. So if you are going to join, don't complain about any features or bugs. Just give them feedback. I'm going to actually sign in. Okay. One of the things that I love is that you can either create a Q&A, which allows you to do an agenda. You're sitting in front of your screen. Or you can create a face-to-face -face interview. So this is kind of like Skype or Google Hangouts, um, but for Facebook. I'm going to create a Q&A broadcast. Okay. Tells you you're going to... It gives you an example. I love this. You can bring your questions onto the screen. It tells you what you can do. Um, I'm going to actually create a QA. and a So you're going to give it a title, and you can add your email address in there. I'm not going to add my email address. Um, another thing feature that I really, really like is that you can schedule it ahead of time, right? And it upload a broadcast cover image. Now it doesn't tell you the size. I don't know what the size is. When I find out, I will post it below. But for me, I'm not really one for scheduling Facebook Live videos um, at the moment. I used to do that with Periscope a lot every Wednesday. But for this, I'm just going to actually do it now. Notice you have several options on your timeline, right? On a page you manage, in a group you manage, on an event, and then you could also test. So I'm actually going to go on a group, okay, it's going to, so you didn't see it, but usually it pops up and it will um, verify your um, Facebook information and ask you to sign in, right? These are the group groups I manage, yes, there's a lot of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the regular Pink Boss Club, which is probably at the bottom, of course, okay? Now, I did notice that sometimes this create button doesn't always stick. So I had to change the titles. Sometimes I do have to put something in there. Again, this is beta. So let's just reselect it, see if it works. Nope, try it again. There we go. So again, beta means there might be issues. So the first thing you're going to want to do is check your settings. Um, so I'm going to click over here. It does give you your options of um, the quality that you want. Just keep in mind that you're broadcasting live. And so you may not want to put it at the full HD. Um, I'm just going to leave it at 540. And then it asks you what your microphone is going to be. I'm going to choose my Yeti microphone and make sure that it is selected. I'm also going to connect my camera and then you're going to see me. Hello. Okay. 
And so now you're gonna see that on the, um, on the right hand side, there's a couple of different options. The first one, so these would be like comments that come in. See, it says live comments. You can see your comments and you can click on show and it will show your comments there. I love that. So as you're talking, you could, people know what question you're asking or answering rather, okay? So then you could hide that, same thing here. So each of the people can see their questions coming up. Another thing you can do is if you're talking and I'm like, so I'm Socially Nina, go ahead and go to my website at www.sociallynina.com show, right? It will show it on the screen. You could see it over there. I don't know if you can't see it over here. You could see it over there, right? Love that, okay? So then you could hide that. If you know there's different things that you're gonna talk about, they call it agenda and you could set your agenda. I think that's fine. But for me as a marketer, what I would do is add different links to my freebies. So this is not a real link, so don't go here. I don't know why they have descriptions. It doesn't actually show up. Oh, maybe it shows up in the right-hand corner, but it doesn't show up on the screen. Um, so maybe there's that. Maybe I know that at one point my website might come up. And so for those of you that followed me on Periscope, I used to have, I started out with um, paper and then I end up having things on my screen that I would show like, here's my freebie. Here's how to get to all the resources I did today. Here's how to follow me. I would go in there and I would create a bunch of stuff that you think may be asked of you, okay? And then that way you don't have to type it in last minute, but I love that it gives you the feature to type it in last minute. So that's your agenda. And same thing, you could show and see how it shows over there. Same thing here, right? And then hide, one thing at a time. One thing I would suggest to be live if they ever watch this video is make these links clickable, but I don't think, mm, maybe if they can actually take those links and put it as a comment from um, the actual, um, presenter, like maybe when you do show, it puts it in the comments, then people can click it. That's one idea. The other thing is um, I would love if we could change the colors because orange really not vibing with my pink and stuff like that. Okay. So, but in the, at the same time, I really love it. Um, oh, and then you can check them off. I didn't know that you can check them off. Um, so anyways, that is a couple of features that you can do. Um, the other suggestion for Be Live also is that if we have templates. So if I know every um, every week I'm doing this and I'm gonna have the same links, I would love to be able to pull up templates for the agenda and things like that. Sorry, you guys, I'm doing a dual video. I'm like, let me show you this feature and give them feedback because I'm gonna send them this video. So anyways, here are the features. So you can add to the agenda. I don't. Let me click on it. That's how you get it to go away. As you're going live, you can see the items there. There are some more features here, so you can look at your broadcast, terms of service, all that kind of stuff. This would be your previous um, broadcast. So I'm gonna go live. Let's see, we're gonna go in my Pink Boss Club. They don't know that I'm doing this. This is actually the first time I'm going live with this. I've seen it and I've done little test ones, but it's the first time I've done this in my group. So let's see if anybody is going to join. Okay, so hey Pink Boss Club, it's Nina. I'm actually recording a video for my YouTube channel um, using the BeLive.tv app. So if you are in, I would love for you guys to do a bunch of comments below. I know this is last minute, didn't tell anybody about it, but if anybody's in, go ahead and do a comment um, just so I can show how, how it works. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and describe the rest of what we're seeing um, here, okay? So um, for those of you on YouTube, here you can see that you are live. So top um, right-hand corner, you see that you're live, right? You can end your broadcast here by clicking on this button here. Um, you can also see how many people. So right now there's zero, absolutely zero people um, actually viewing. But I can still type in items. So I can show people this, right, on the screen while I'm doing it. And I'm actually gonna go into my group on my phone just to make sure that it actually is live. Let me just see. Oh, actually I see it. First thing that pops up. So um, if you see, this is how I look. 
It is live in my group. Okay. I'm going to hide this. I'm just going to add a note. This is a taping for my YouTube channel for the BeLive.TV beta app. Okay, so you can see in my top right hand corner that one person's there. I cannot see who that person is. I do not like that. But you guys, um, if you're here, please. Okay, so it's Tiana. So I can actually show what Tiana's saying. So you could see it here, which is good. I don't have to look on the right hand side. But I also can show her on my screen saying that she said hi. So I'm going to hide her comment. Notice I see Monica's. Hello. Hi, Monica. So I can show hers, right? And then now I see Bernadine. Hey, Bernadine. What I do like is that I don't have to look at the right-hand corner to see what's going on. I could see it in the middle of my screen without turning to the right or things like that. Um, and again, I can show each of these as I'm talking about it. So if someone asks a question, you could show it and talk through your question um, as you're live and people know what you're talking about. You know people jump in and out. So ladies, um, just so that you know, are you on your computer? I am on my computer. So um, this app is called Be Live. I'm actually doing a YouTube video and training that will be available today, I guess. I think I'm gonna post this before the walk, Rocket Wave video. But anyways, yes, yeah, so this is a question. This is perfect. You would put your question up here and you would answer your question um, during your broadcast, okay? So just to let you guys know, I was telling people, um, Facebook has an app called Facebook Workplace. So if you're using it kind of like Slack, um, which my team uses, and on that area, you can actually go live. Um, you can go live and you can share your desktop from Facebook Workplace. So I think it's coming to Facebook, but on this one, um, you cannot share your desktop that I see. So you can broadcast. Um, you could also interview someone. So you can go from side to side, like I would be on this side and someone else would be on that side. I just didn't want to bother Katya today. But yes, I am on my desktop. No, I cannot um, share my desktop as I see. It is a beta app so that I have found a little bit of bugs. What I do like is I've created an agenda so I can show things to you guys like this, right? That link doesn't work. It's fake. Um, and like that. And so um, I do like it. It's free right now. Um, and then I could also do just last minute stuff for the screen. Okay, there you go. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna get back to taping my video. Thank you for joining in. Of course, you will be on my YouTube video. I'm probably gonna post this either tonight or early tomorrow. If you have any questions, let me know below. I'll be back, peace. Okay, so now I'm ending the broadcast. I just clicked on end broadcast on the right-hand corner, and at the top, you're gonna see end live broadcast. So until then, it was they were hearing me still, okay? Um, so now it's done and it says I am not connected. Thank you for that. It also shows my comments still. I guess it is show on the screen still. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So now I'm going to go over here so you can see that's not where I meant to go. This is my previous broadcast. So what I can do now, see that there's a link, um, to the broadcast, which is awesome. If you schedule ahead of time, you can actually send this out. Um, and then you also have your Q&A page, right? So you can see what happened. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back. What I meant to do is click here and then my broadcast. You could also delete it if you need to. What I love is that it connects all of your broadcasts so you can come in here. Now I wonder if it's gonna allow you, probably not, you can't download from here. Um, you could probably just download here. What I would do for broadcasts, I'm just gonna right click and open the link so we can get back to it. But I would embed your broadcast or your pictures or your video other places and use it as evergreen content. Um, for me, I just wanna show you one more thing before I head over there. Create face-to-face -face interview. This is the one that I told you you can actually have someone side by side. I'm not gonna go through that today, but I did wanna let you know that that is a feature. So let's head back to me. So, um, showed you a little bit about how it worked. Again, um, I didn't see the ability to share on my desktop. That's okay with me for now. Um, but I think Facebook itself, they're gonna give you that ability later on. For now, I think this is a great stopgap. Um, in other words, like a little Band-Aid for what you need to do. I'm hoping that this company is gonna be taking 
feedback from people who use it because this can actually be an amazing platform for lives. I am gonna follow them and see what happens. I'm actually probably gonna try to reach out with them to them to see um, what they're doing and where they're going. So let me know what you thought about Be Live. Go ahead and try it. Sign up. You could put socially Nina or Nina Thomas in the in the field that said who referred you. Um, please do so they know that I am referring people to them. But let me know what you thought, what you think, what you thought. Anyways, comments below. And if you are looking for any other advice on technology, apps, anything like that, check out some other videos that I have. And don't forget to like my video and subscribe. Thank you. Ciao.